So hello, welcome back to my channel. I am doing an update here. Um, so, um, I don't know if you guys um, follow me on Instagram. Um, I have also an Instagram uh, page for my dog, my Frenchie. His name is Chapo. Hi, baby. So he had an accident um, last week. Actually, last Monday. Um, go ride your truck, Papa. Go ride yeah. your truck. Yeah. 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 Okay. It's okay. Monday. Okay. Yeah. Monday. Mm -hmm. So he um jumped out of my new truck and he broke his elbow on his left leg on the front and so he had to have surgery they did the surgery Thursday morning um, the reason why we waited so long was because um, Monday I took him to the vet the vet sent me to an emergency hospital um, like about 30 minutes from my house I took him there and they did some x-rays the surgeon there did not want to do any uh sur he did not want to do surgery on him and i think he was booked out two weeks um for surgery so he was like he cannot wait that long and so you have to go to the specialist so they sent me out another 20 minutes west <clears throat> uh, for um, the specialist um, and so I could uh, take him that that day Monday so I took him in was it Monday no um, Tuesday I called the emergency hospital in Fort Worth um, and they uh, scheduled me for an appointment to come and drop him off on Wednesday. I don't know. Let me try. No. So the accident happened Monday. And Tuesday I took him to the Fort Worth um, Specialist Hospital. And I left him there. And he had eaten um, breakfast that day. So the vet said that she either uh, they will schedule his surgery late night or um, Wednesday morning. So Wednesday I went to work. <clears throat> And they did the surgery Wednesday morning because I was calling them um, from work to see how it was going. And so whenever I called to get updates, they said he did very good. Um, and so then after surgery on Wednesday, they kept him another night to um, keep him under uh, supervision. Because since he has a very flat nose because of his breathe. Um, they wanted to keep an eye on him um, be, uh, while he came out of the anesthesia and all that stuff. So he stayed there till Thursday. I picked him up Thursday. And now today is Monday, April 22nd. And it's not one, quite one week post-up, but it's one week after his fracture. He's doing pretty good. My baby. So right here you can see where they shaved him, like they shaved all his arm and then all the way up here to his back um, to get him, um, uh, get his incision open and stuff. And um, I think they shaved his leg here to put an IV in, that's the foot that he fractured up here. But he um, fractured the inside of the elbow, so they had to do the inc incision on the inside. And so, um, um, 
So because of the bone being fractured on the inside of the elbow, they had to do the inside the, the incision on the inside of his leg. Um, they put a screw uh, through the elbow to hold the joint together. And then a pin went up from the joint to the, um, the upper arm um, to hold it together. And, and then I think about four more screws to put a plate to hold the whole thing together. So he has five screws and a pin and a plate. Um, so far he's been doing well. He had a cold for the first couple of days. And he just was so sad and so miserable. Um, so what I did, I found a shirt. I was like, well, it has sleeves. And so I put the shirt on him to see if the shirt will cover his incision so he won't lick it. And it sure did. He, he can't get to the incision to um, lick it or touch it or anything like that. So he's good. He's much more comfortable in the shirt than with the cone. Um, and that's it for him right now. I think we're, we're I, I've done um, cold compresses on his arm um, for five minutes, three times a day. Now it's uh, we're doing hot compresses. Um, five minutes three times a day and then after three after doing three days of those we're gonna alternate we're gonna do first cold then hot um, and I'll show you guys in a later video how I do Ma. that <coughs> so we managed to get the cut the yard cut this weekend we finally cut it it was just like by sections um, and then it would rain and then we'll, uh, we'll let it dry and then we'll cut another section but my husband um, cut the yard all day Saturday and it looks so much better 